another interesting model from Marklin. It's a 18820 um, heavy uh, load mover, which is a uh, dedicated for the prepping and moving of large transformers from rail to road to the uh, installation point of wherever they're going to go and they use this is one of the vehicles they use for it and the, proto, the, the prototype sort of looks like that and uh, yeah the proper full name for it is uh, I'm not even going to pronounce it because it's that long and it'll probably sound stupid with my accent so well anyway let's get it out of the box it's quite a unit wagon because um, it's all metal it's quite a highly detailed wagon and obviously it can interlink with the, uh, the Mark Lintrix transformer wagon and it can uh, to move the, the load from the wagon onto this actual vehicle which is it's quite highly detailed really they're quite sought after and they're quite pretty rare pretty hard to get hold of the full die cast with uh, obviously all the added detail on but quite expensive but I don't mind it goes with the uh, transformer wagon anyway, so I'm going to get it out of the box now. Right, so there we go, bought this from Germany, from a private seller who, uh, he wasn't selling to the UK, but I sort of talked him into selling it and uh, posting it to the UK, and he did a really good deal on the post. I've got all the detail packs, some extra items. The only thing is I've not got any instructions for it, but I'm not bothered. Some other tow bar system thing there. But as you can see, it's second hand. It's been used, but it's immaculate. I might as well call it brand new. And you can see all the wheel sets on it are all perfect. And this, they move, a bit of movement in them, and they actually move. And it's actually made by Marklin. This, there's no sub company. Oh, you can see the Marklin logo. But yeah, it's designed obviously to take the full weight of all the other metal parts on the transformer wagon, which I have. So obviously you've got that point there, and that point there would hold the part, the metal frame system that holds the transformer in place. But, yeah, all the wheels move. Obviously it's not a it's a static model, you're not going to play around with it. You can see all the detail of the cabling. It's really nice. So that look uh, quite nice. Up against the... Uh, in the yard somewhere. So as you can see there, that's where it'd fit into the uh, holes either side of the road wagon where it'd transport. I mean, to try and get that load <coughs> off the wagon is really difficult, and it clips in in a special way. And it is all metal. This it's really got me so delicate. So many parts interlinked, separately applied parts. You got to be so careful not to damage that that wagon, but. Yeah, quite a bit of a unique set now, that. So, I'm trying, I might try and fit it on, see what it looks like, and put it on the layout next to the big frame. What I'm going to do now is disengage the transformer wagon from the lugs, and to do that, I'm using uh, glue sticks because you've got to be careful not to damage 
Got to make sure the centre part of the, lag, the wagon load pivoting point is in central to the wagon and not left and not left or right because this moves left and right. So you want to make sure that is engaged properly to the centre, and then you put the two glue sticks in like that. Right, the idea is to try and get four of these glue sticks to an either side, so to manipulate the lug out the hole. I'll try to do it is another story. It's quite difficult. It is really difficult to get in on this wagon. The actual uh, connecting it up. So I've got two in that side. That's all. I could turn it around. Just turn that around, try and get this one in this side. There we go. It's out, and it's out without being damaged. But like I say, it's it's so tricky to do without damaging it. It really is. But that's it. One side done, and this side, same thing really. Work that in. There we go, it's off, but that was a bit messy. Right, there's no damage, it's just bounced around. So, what makes it so difficult is those lugs there, they're really difficult to get off. So, I mean, I did oil these. I put them on slightly, but that was a few years ago. So now the next stage is to just move these aside, leave the main car wagon parts as I get the road vehicle, put a bit of WD-40 on the, around these areas here. Carefully, just place a load onto the road wagons. At least be as careful as possible. Maybe that's one. Not I'm gonna get these out again, same process probably, but that's the other one. That's not quite in that one. There we go. It's just a, a pretty bad way of engaging them really. Well it's so intricate well not it's just an awkward way of doing it. If it was just a steel pole that pivoted that would be a lot easier, but that's all one vehicle now that. So it's transferred from the rail carrying version of it to the road carrying version, which I'll just place on the layout. There we go, it's all just carefully placed on the layout because this isn't a static model, it doesn't move. It's not meant to be pushed along or anything like that. So you can see all the hydraulic cables.
Yeah, so. Something different for the layout. 